Welcome to the Abundance Attraction Show with Patricia LeBlanc, intuitive energy alchemist, manifesting expert, and award-winning author. Patricia and her expert guests share meditations, tips, strategies, and tools that you can use to succeed in attracting more abundance in your life. Now, here's your host, Patricia LeBlanc. Hello and welcome to the Abundance Attraction Show. My name is Patricia LeBlanc, your host, and I'm super excited to be doing another episode. And during today's show, I will be talking to you about why fear of change is killing your abundance. But before I start to talk about this, I just wanted to offer you a free gift for listening to the Abundance Attraction Show. And I would love to offer you a free money clearing three-part meditation series, which you can download at theabundanceattractionshow.com. I truly appreciate each one of you taking time out of your busy schedule to listen to my podcast, and I hope that it inspires you to move forward into your life and business with more ease and joy. So once again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly do appreciate each one of you. So let's get started to talk about fear of change and how it's killing your abundance. Here's the thing. Change can be quite difficult for some people to process. Some people like everything to be perfect and follow their well thought plan. Some people, the minute something goes off track, they freak out. Here are six clues that you may be fueled by fear, not freedom. Fear sees only the downside. So when you're in an energy of fear, all you see is what can go wrong, all the bad, all the negative things, not the on not the bright side. <clears throat> Two, fear doesn't let you stop to think it true. When you're in an energy of fear, you're not going to stop and think everything true. You're just going to react and you're not necessarily going to react in a good way because fear is your ego holding you back. Three, fear tells us to avoid anything new or unknown because here's the thing, when we're in fear, that's our ego that's making us play small because when you're playing small is you're basically not, you're not expanding, you're not growing your comfort zone, you're not moving into unknown territory. So fear and our ego wants to hold us back. Four, fear constricts rather than expands who we are. So fear holds us in, holds us back from really being who we're truly meant to be. So when we're in fear, we're not going to be able to grow. We're just going to stay small. Five, fear obscures your intuition. When you're coming from an energy of fear, you're not going to, you're, you're completely disconnected from your intuition, which is not good because our intuition will always, always guide us in the right direction. So when we come from fear, it actually blocks our intuition, which is not good. Six, fear often keeps us from making any decision at all. So a lot of times because we're in fear, we're not making a decision. But in fact, by not making a decision, we are making a decision. So but so you may be wondering, how do I overcome fear of change? And that's a great question. So one, just know that change is inevitable. There's always going to be change. It's part of life. It's part. That's one thing that is guaranteed that change is going to happen. Two, view change as an initiation. Change is not necessarily a bad thing if you allow yourself to be. I'm always looking for changes. I'm always looking to grow and improve. And I can tell you, I used to never like change. I used to be very left brain. But when I started to view change as an initiation, it allowed me to move forward. Three, meditate through uncertainty. So anytime that you're not certain, especially when there's a lot of changes, take the time to go within, take the time to meditate. And that's going to allow you to be able to overcome the fear of change, overcome any fear because you're getting, you're going within, you're connecting to your intuition, you're connecting to your higher self, and that's where magic can happen. Four, uncover your truest desire. Once again, when you know what you truly desire, even when fear comes up, fear of change, any type of fear, you're going to have the motivation and drive to keep moving forward. Five, set a strong intention. 
Start by setting an intention that really speaks to your heart and soul. That's really a, a true desire and that will help you quite a bit. Six, take action one step at a time. So I get my clients to take baby steps because here's the thing. A lot of us, we think we need to take big, bold steps every single day. But here's the reality. For most of us to take big, bold steps every day, it's going to hold us back because we're going to be in fear. Oh my God, like I'm going from one to a hundred all of a sudden. That's not possible. Go from one to two and then from two to three. By breaking it down in little baby steps and being consistent in taking baby steps, you're going to be able to overcome fear of change because first of all, you're going to expand your comfort zone a little bit at a time. So your ego is not going to be able to hold you back as much. So break it down. Take a take a, a commit to take a baby step every single day, and start to feel how that you're going to be able to start embracing change, embracing living your life on your terms. And here's the thing: we all have fear of change to a degree, but is it holding you back from moving forward and creating more abundance for your life? Let me know what comes up for you. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. And once again, I just want to remind you that I have a free gift for you on the AbundanceAttractionShow.com, which is my three-part free Money Clearing Meditation Bundle. So wishing you a magical day. And until next time, I am Patricia Bell, the host. Thank you so much for listening. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.